Welcome back to Michael's Library, and in today's video, we'll be reading the book, All the Things You Can Do That Are Good For You, All About Staying Healthy, by Tish Rabe, illustrated by Artistes Ruiz. Oh, the things you can do that are good for you. I'm the cat in the hat, and today is the day. So jump in, buckle up, and we must leave right away. For the feeling, great clinic, far off, Fabu, Fadu, is a place part museum, part circus, part zoo, where you soon will learn how to take good care of you. Your mother will not mind at all if you do. Here we are, and the first friends I'd like you to meet are two of the famous tack toe tapping tweet. Tweet shoot beezer ball baskets by using their feet. They play every day. They are strong and they are wise. For they know how to stay healthy. They need exercise. Exercise gives you energy and helps you grow. It gets your heart beating and makes your blood flow. What's the snuff gruffles trouble? There's no time to play, cause he sneezes at least 90 times every day. When you sneeze, you blow dust in a rush from your nose. My sneeze meter measures how far the dust goes. It can travel five feet and blasts out with great power at speeds of over 100 miles an hour. Sneezing shoes to germs out all over the place. So lift up your arm and cover your face. Sneeze into your elbow so friends won't get sick. Or sneeze into a tissue and throw it out quick. Germs are small living things too tiny to see. Most germs, it is true, will not hurt you or me. Now you're in for a treat. Meet the Zing Singing Zans. She has written a song about washing your hands. It takes half a minute to get your hands clean. Sing along with the Zans, and you'll see what I mean. Wishily washily washily wish. Squishily squashily squashily squish. Wash your hands carefully. It's up to you. You soap in warm water, it's easy to do. Rinse them while we all sing this refrain. Germs from your hands will slide right down the drain. To stay healthy, you need to keep all of you clean. So jump into my new Scrubble Bubble Machine. It is part shower, part car wash, and coats just a dime. It will give you shampoo, either lemon or lime. Scrub your fingernails free from dirt and the grime while you finish your homework at the same time. Now, please follow me. You'll be glad that you did as we tiptoe inside the Great Food Pyramid. Meet the E, Hip, Then, Hop who are experts in knowing what foods are best for a body that's growing. They eat pasta, rice, cereal, muffins, and breads, which they munch at small tables they wear on their heads. Fruits, vegetables, lean meats, and fish they enjoy, although some prefer tofu or milk made from soy. 
They all like to eat different foods, but are careful to eat only morsels of fat and few things that are sweet. In the morning, your body needs food right away, so be sure to eat breakfast to start off each day. In this booth, you'll hear something amazing but true. You'll hear your own body. It's talking to you. When you're thirsty, just listen. Your body says, think. I need to just get water. Please drink, 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 drink. When you're hungry, your, stom your stomach starts grumbling and mumbling. Feed me, or else I might go right on rumbling. When your body feels pain, it's telling you, hey, something is wrong. I need help right away. If you start to feel tired, you can't do your best. Your body is telling you it's time to rest. If a voice inside says, I feel angry, I'm mad, or you hear your heart whisper, I feel kind of sad, tell a friend how you're feeling and know it's okay. Everyone at some time gets the feeling that way. Let me introduce the Snee Snicker Sneeth. She is known far and wide for her sparkly, clean teeth. Like you, she probably had baby teeth when she was small. But though she grew big, her teeth grew not at all. One by one, they fell out. But this smart Snicker Sneeth knew she had a new set of teeth growing beneath. But there's one thing no sneeth will no sneeth you'll meet will forget. This next set of teeth is the last you get. She brushes her teeth at least two times a day. Germs that stay on your teeth can lead to decay. After brushing your teeth, take some floss and unwind it, then slide it between them. If there's food there, you'll find it. Keep brushing and flossing. It's a really easy breeze and it will help you make sure you avoid cavities. Now I'd like you to meet the Galactic Karoo. You can juggle six chairs, five friends, and one shoe. How Guru did it is hard to explain, but it all comes from the signals sent out from the brain. It's your body's computer that makes everything go. Helps you sleep, run, and hiccup, think, dream, smile, and grow. It's important for you to protect it. And so, if you're going out riding on a skateboard or a bike, or doing whatever fun sport that you like, take care to make sure that your head is all right. Grab a helmet and see if you and see that you snap it on tight. Be smart and be safe. Just like the Garu, make sure that your parents wear their helmets, too. Here is where snug buggles tumble and play, then sleep in a heap at the end of the day. Snug buggles know the importance of rest. Ten hours of sleep helps buggles do best. Snug buggles show us the right way to wake bright. Go to sleep about the same time every night. Brush your teeth, read a book, sing a song, dim the light, take a breath, close your eyes, just relax, and sleep tight. We all need to sleep. It's important to do, but your brain never sleeps. It keeps working for you. It keeps your heart beating inside of your chest and keeps your lungs breathing while you get some rest. Oh, and speaking of sleep, it is time we must go. But there's just one more thing I would like you to know. You're important and special. Believe me, it's true. No one, no one in the world is exactly like you. We learned something together and far off to do. Taking care of yourself is a good thing to do. The end. I hope.
hope you guys enjoy reading that book as much as I did reading it to you guys. Um, please like and subscribe to the video, and have a good day. And again, thank you for visiting Micah's Library.